Hello, everybody. My name is Matthew White, coming to you from Ingram Micro's Business Transformation Center. We're here with another Tips for the WebEx user to show you a little bit about how far and camera control works and why you'd use it. So what is far and camera control? Far and camera control is what gives you the ability to control the camera on the other end of the call. So where would this come in handy? Pretty much what you'd want to use this for is if you're a professional that the other person on the other end of the call really doesn't really know how to work their video endpoint, you could actually control that camera for them. Now, Cisco's video endpoints have a great capability to zoom in on the person's face automatically, but to do far end camera control, you're going to actually want to shut that off. Now, in certain cases, you're not going to want to zoom in on the person's face, and that's really where you want to use far end camera control. Let's say you're a doctor and the person on the other end wants to show you a mole or something like that that they have that you really have to take a closer look at. Far end camera control can actually take control of the other video endpoint to move that camera, zoom in on a person, maybe it's their shoulder, maybe it's their uh, back or something like that that you need to have a closer look at that's not going to be the person's face. So let's go ahead and call that other device. Now to set up this demo, I made a couple minor changes to the far end device so that it will both auto answer and that the speaker track mode is off. So let's go ahead and call that other device. So if I just click the call button and then I click the EC Desk Pro, let's do a call. Now this only works when you're calling between video endpoints. If you're calling from, let's say, the WebEx app, this is not going to work at this point in time. Uh, that is a feature that they're looking to add in the near future. But at this point, just be aware that you would need a video endpoint on both ends, like the RoomKit Pro and the Desk Pro would be a good solution where you have the Zoom capabilities on both ends of the call. So then from here, once we have that call connected, we're going to want to click on this little person here. That brings up all the participants in your call. Now, this can be a three-way call, a four-way call. You could have multiple parties on this call and pick to choose who you want to control as long as everybody has their far and camera control on. From here, I can click on the EC Desk Pro and control camera. And then as you can see here, in that far window there, so that's the screen showing the camera on the other end, I can actually go ahead and zoom in. So this is me on the other side. Or I can go ahead and zoom out. I can also go ahead and pan to the right, pan to the left, tip up, and tip down. So this allows me to, again, control that camera on the other end. Very simple interface, very easy to use. Uh, doesn't take a lot of training to get people used to using this feature. And it comes in very handy, and especially instances where you're really having to have somebody on the other end that doesn't use that device very often or is just not familiar with video endpoints. Once you're done with the camera control, you can go ahead and just tap to the right there, and then you can go ahead and end the call. And there you have it. That's how far end camera control works on the Cisco video endpoints. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to the Inger Micro Business Transformation Center, and we'd be happy to actually walk you through how to use this, how to set it up, uh, really get a better handle on how this works, and talk to you about use case scenarios and when it would be applicable in your situation. Check out some of our additional videos here on the BTC site and find out how some of these other videos for tips for the WebEx user can really help you better understand the tools that you have at your disposal. Enjoy the rest of your day.